I am uh, Kirk Scattergood. I am a ophthalmologist and a retina specialist at the Green Bay Eye Clinic. I treat many patients with uh, retinal problems and one of the most common issues that I deal with is macular degeneration. Risk factors for macular degeneration. Uh, lifetime of poor diet uh, is a small factor. Uh, genetics plays a, major, uh, a large role uh, and certain families definitely have an increased risk and there's a good 12 to 15 uh, genes that have been uh, associated now with increased risk of macular degeneration. There's some very exciting work going on in that field. Uh, that's more to come, I think, in the future. But the biggest risk factor is uh, cigarette smoking. People who currently smoke cigarettes have a six-fold greater risk of developing vision, severe vision loss due to, due to age-related macular degeneration than people who have never smoked. People who quit within the, ten, within the last 10 years still have a six-fold increased risk. People who quit more than 10 years but less than 20 years ago have a three-fold increased risk. And people who have quit more than 20 years ago are uh, at the same risk as the general public. Once macular degeneration becomes severe and becomes the uh, wet type, we can treat that with a variety of uh, laser and uh, injectable medications. But we really like to prevent that from ever get, the macular degeneration from ever getting to that point. One of the ways that we can shift a person's odds towards uh, a person becoming less likely to develop more, the more severe form of macular degeneration is to actually give them some extra vitamins. Now back in the 1990s, a study called the Age-Related Eye Disease Study, or ARIDS for short, was performed by the NIH. About 9,000 patients were given a various, uh, either a cocktail of, of vitamins or placebo, and it was found that people who had the cocktail of vitamins did uh, have a significantly reduced risk of progression to uh, severe vision loss, about 15% uh, in many cases. But this was only in people who had already developed a, uh, a mild form of, the, of dry macular degeneration. This cocktail included vitamin A, zinc, copper, vitamin C, and vitamin E. Now from this study, some additional information gradually came out as the data was being evaluated uh, over the subsequent 10 years, and we found that uh, maybe uh, omega-3 fatty acids may be helpful, having green vegetables in the diet may be helpful, but more interesting, the vitamin A that was used in the original cocktail was shown to increase the risk of lung cancer in, in smokers. So there was actually a risk from this uh, initial treatment. So a second study was done uh, starting in 2008 called the ARIDS-2 study. This study, the, the results of this study just came out. A number of things uh, came from it. We eliminated the vitamin A. We've now added two, vitam two B vitamins called uh, zeaxanthine and lutein, which also seem to be helpful. But beyond that, the, the formula has stayed the same. So now our recommendations for dry people with early dry macular degeneration is to use the ARIDS-2 formula. And this is found in uh, a commercial preparation made by Bausch and Baum. Uh, uh, and that's the one we generally use.